really odd, don't you think? I mean, silver chips. Challenging. Excellent. Informative. The dysfunctional family. Best experience ever. Creative. Pippery. Okay, die. Mimic. Innovative. Very interesting. It's a newspaper. Exciting. Silver. Dedication. Captivating. I think Silver Chips has such a tradition uh, at Blair, and I think the it's it's a tradition of excellence. I mean, it's you know, this is the 75th anniversary, and there is one um, one advisor in particular named John Mathwin, who was the advisor for almost 30 years. When Silver Chips was first published, it was um, four pages at the back of the yearbook. Uh, I think they did that for two years, and then it broke off. So the yearbook was the log of um, Blair High School. So silver log, if that makes sense. Well, you had this little bit published at the back of the, the newspaper, and it broke off. So it was a chip off the log, hence silver chips. <laughs> Um, I definitely think it's about um, learning about other people. So it's really interesting to meet people who I haven't ever met. So like if you're if you're if you're nervous about making friends, you can just make friends by talking to them in the hallway and saying it's for an article. It doesn't have to be for an article, but you can say it is. Um, but no, it's it's. Um, I think it's just if it, you really get to um, again. It, that, it, there is some truth in what I just said. You get to meet new people and you get to sort of see Blair from all these different angles and different perspectives. I'll interview people in like, act, in like the same way I'll interview someone for a story and I'll ask a lot of questions to strangers because it seems weird that just because you're a journalist you're writing a story it gives you permission to like ask anyone anything. Um, and I'll just do that in real life now. Like when I go to events, just ask people who are running it why they did it and what's happening. So it's a cool skill. Or just, you know, knowing that the people I see in the hallways actually have something really interesting about them. You know, oh, that girl, um, you know, does this sport. I didn't know that girl. I didn't know that guy goes hunting. Like, just all these exciting things. Um, and learning that people are really good at, like, their own little thing is really cool. Um, and so getting to appreciate um, what our, what Blazers have to offer is, has been a lot of fun. Being on the paper allows us to, you know, get these new experiences and then put them into a medium where everyone else in the school can then learn about it and if they're interested they can go join linguistics club or they can go join the handball team or whatever we write about. All of these different cultures represented here, uh, a lot of minorities, um, so it, it was always a very interesting school to be in and as a result there was a lot of interesting stories. I attribute a lot of the success of Silver Chips to the fact that it was at Blair. Silver Chips, as an institution, strives towards excellence. I think that's our, our standard is excellence. Um, like we don't, we. I think one of the reasons that we are so good is because we hold ourselves to a very high standard, and I think we do it excellent. I think we are excellent. First day of the cycle, first day of the cycle, we, um, uh, everyone comes with story ideas and pitches story ideas for each section. Then the editor-in-chiefs um, decide who's going to write each story with some input from the writers and from the different section editors. And then after that, um, they give the people the stories. Um, people go out and um, do what we say called sack storming, which is where you go and um, like you try to find people in the sack and on Blair Boulevard who relate to your story and then um, we have like cover sheets this is more specific where people will have to like, show us that um, you know like these are the expert sources that you've gathered here's the um, like kid sources primary sources that you've gathered there's outlines that are due rough drafts final drafts um, and then we have our big production week which is where every day during lunch um, these, this whole computer lab is just full of people putting together 
there's their pages and laying out their pages. Then on Friday of that week, we have um, a late night, which is always themed and really fun. And um, like the themes are like silly, like we did little chefs this year, so like everyone's dressed up like a little chef and like aprons and hats and stuff. Um, it's really fun. <laughs> and you lay out your paper and we stay until really late, like 10 o'clock or something. And then that Monday, we have another late Monday and people lay out the pages again and we stay until like 10 o'clock. And then on Tuesday, the seniors come and finish up the paper and then Wednesdays we send it out and Thursday we distribute usually or Friday we distribute. So traditionally I have a spreadsheet with every English teacher and um, there are a number of classes and the number of students in each class and each staffer, junior staffer, is assigned a teacher to distribute to. So they'll make a stack for period one with 25 copies of stack for distribute. Um, we're thinking about changing it. This last cycle, we just distributed uh, 30 papers, or 25 papers to every single classroom. And that worked out really well, but it takes a little more time. Most of them would say that they spend probably more, more time on chips than to do their other classes. But I think it's, uh, it's kind of a labor of love. I really enjoy to be a part of things that are rigorous and require a lot of time. So that's why I do it now, and because I do love journalism. I think they enjoy it, and I think a lot of the Silver Chips kids, uh, students, their friends, in many respects, are other people on chips. It really just it gives me a reason kind of to go to school. Um, it's so much better than my other classes for that reason. It makes me feel like I'm a part of Blair, which I didn't really feel like before. And also, I have like a lot of really good friends around the paper, and so I guess like a lot of those like kind of silly memories that just come with. Um, spending a lot of time with my friends, working on this big project, which is like creating a newspaper every five weeks. Can I, can I say, um, can I have two words? Sure. All right, I'm gonna say the Silver Chips motto, which is nullis rationalis, which means no excuses. It's a shame. I'm sitting at my desk and it's noon time. And I just to call you Cause we go together Just like jam and bread Or maybe birds of a feather